going to be teaching my daughter, Rosie, how to do her makeup. Uh, something that's appropriate for her age. So don't be disappointed if you think that this video is going to be you putting on eyeshadow and eyeliner and foundation. Because that's not this kind of video. This video is more natural. Teaching you how to be naturally pretty. Rosie, first off, take the eye boogers out of your eye. Take the crust out of your eyes, ladies, please. We don't want to see crust, okay? Aww. So, my number one thing is moisturizer. You have to moisturize your face. I'm always getting on top of her because I look at her face and I can tell right away that she hasn't done it because it looks dry. So this will help moisturize your face and keep it from looking dull. You can use any moisturizer as long as it has sunscreen. Please make sure that your moisturizer has sunscreen. This one that I'm using here is Peter Thomas Roth and Max Sheer All Day Moisture Defense Lotion, SPF 30. Get yourself a moisturizer with SPF. After you wash your face and dry it and stuff, put some of this on. So put like a dye on your forehead, nose, cheeks, and chin. Usually I blend it in with like these two fingers. Do it with those two fingers. I'm like not even doing the thing. <laughs> Don't put it around too close to the eyes either. How come they do that? Because it's not for the eyes. There's a different type of lotion for the eyes and the eyes are sensitive. Um, stop getting so close. So once you have done that, you want that to kind of settle in. So I would suggest curling your lashes if they're straight. So our lashes are very like pink, straight, so we have to curl them. Hers are um, not even thick. Yeah, mine aren't even thick, they're really thin and small. Mine are but super thick. <laughs> hers are thick and long. So you want to curl your lashes so that it opens up your eyes and like they just look a lot prettier. And honestly, I don't even think that you need mascara. She's not going to be wearing mascara like that. We're going to do it today just because I want to teach her um, to put a light coat and not overdo it. Some girls like overdo oh, it. They, their eyes eyelashes get large. super clumpy and like it, it just doesn't look right. I like it to look nice and clean. Um, but her lashes are very thick and long. So really with just curling them, it looks amazing. And honestly, that's all you need. You just need them to be nice and curled. So if your eyelashes are naturally curly, then you don't have to do this step, obviously. You're just naturally lucky okay so you see how her eyes look a lot better now this is my eyelash curler and she has one that my mom got for her it's which i guess works better. a lot better than this one so she's gonna go grab that real quick okay so she has the one that she likes and this one is shieldo shishado so curl them lashes girls curl them lashes okay so I guess it is a little bit more dramatic than the one that I have. My <laughs> end is like... Yeah, I hate when the ends don't curl as well. It sucks. It's just because I have more lashes. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's like we're So show your eyes, go like this, and show them your eyes. Okay. Ew, but my pimples! Inside there. Oh, <laughs> All right, ignore the, ignore this. <laughs> <laughs> just look at it. It's all over my face. Ignore this. Ignore this. <laughs> no wonder they wear the thing to cover their faces. <laughs> as soon as you reveal, it's like, oh. Just kidding. All right, that was so bad. It's like when you see someone like very pretty from far away and then up close, it's just like, oh. It's like, oh, you look nice. Oh, I don't know anymore. Oh, you look so pretty. Oh, uh, oh, no, no, no. So the next thing is obviously mascara. Now, I'm allowing her to wear mascara from time to time, only on special occasions. Now, ladies, only do one coat, maybe two at the most. You don't want it to clump up. You know I can see you. <laughs> Has a little mini brush by um, Maybelline and Colash Discovery, and I love the waterproof one. I know they're not paying me to say this. I wish they were. I'm trying to build a dream that's going to last. Where do we get so much Go all the way to the end of it. Oh, yeah. Do 
the key is to like kind of shape it where you want it to go so you go in up in up and up so yours right now is kind of like a little weird yeah so you have to like spread it out and make it like me stay in my So what I like to do is I really oh, are super long, they touch my eyebrows. Yeah, they're beautiful. What I like to do and what you should do, there's a little bit of mascara on top of it and it kinda like clumps up a little. So I go like this with my finger, I just go like and I and I take it off. And it'll come up yeah, the excess. So go in there and like there you go, while it's wet. You want to get it off while it's wet. And then it'll end up on your finger. Like, oh, yeah, just a little bit. And then on the other side, too. Okay, there's a lot more. And that gives it more of a natural look. Yeah. Can you want to wash your hands? Yeah, wash your hands right after. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We all, I, I don't care who you are, I don't care if you say you don't have it, it's, you're lying. We all have a little bit of mustache, and I use this Philips little, it's not a razor, it's like, I don't know what to call it, but it's automatic, it turns on, and then you just like shave your upper lip. But it's not shaving, do not use a razor. A razor will make it grow a lot thicker and longer, and you don't want that. You wanna get something like this. I'm gonna um, find a link for like something on Amazon that you can buy online, and you can start using it. It looks better, it feels better, you, your confidence goes way up. So basically, you just like turn it on, and then you just like shave your hair on the top of your, your lip and then it'll be like smooth and clean. And it's just more, I don't know, I like the way it looks a lot better. You can also do it for yourself. Even though you guys are young, you might have a little bit of upper lip hair, so just trim it with this. And she doesn't want to do it in front of the world, but believe me, I'm having her do it. my teeth are straight. As you can tell, she has some zits on her face. I mean, we all have imperfections, I have like some stuff on my face whatever so you can use a little bit of powder just to like hide the redness mine is like white I don't know if it's gonna work for her I haven't bought her a powder and I don't really want to buy her a powder yet we can try it just to see if it'll cover up some of the redness simply just for covering up the redness sometimes she doesn't have zits and she doesn't flare up so she doesn't need it but right now So my last thing is blush. I think that highlighter is definitely cute on a, a younger girl and it's probably better to just put a little bit of highlighter and that's it. But for right now, I just want to show like you can use a little bit of pink. Put it on the apples of your cheek. And you just need a little bit. You don't need a lot. You can put highlighter on instead of blush if you want to, okay? And I think that that's what Rosie would prefer. The so last thing is lip gloss. This is MAC. Dynasty at dusk. I think lip gloss is your best friend because you don't need lipstick. You don't need to go bold. You could just do a light shade. It looks really cute. It's appropriate for your age. So just do a light lip gloss. This is a very simple look and that's what you wanna go for at your age, okay? You don't wanna do anything crazy and put foundation on or eyeliner or eyeshadow or anything like that. Like you really, really don't need it. And you can have fun with it at parties, maybe when after you're 15, 16. But like maybe if you're like gonna go out like to a wedding or like something like a party, you could like put eyeliner in your eyes. Like I wouldn't do that. But like I'm saying for other people, maybe that's like cool. Cause you know, I like eyeliner. Like cause for Halloween, I would always love putting on eyeliner. Right. Like, wrong for me. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, then yeah, but. 
So this is the finished look. As you can see, it's a big difference than how we started. And it's natural, it's appropriate for her age. Young, pretty, and very natural. I like it, I like it a lot. This is all you need, girls. Also, just make sure your hair looks okay. I mean, my hair looks very crappy right now, so it's not a good example. And also my eyebrows, not a good example of what your eyebrows should look like right now. I haven't gotten them done in a while. <laughs> If you haven't watched the video already of Rosie getting her eyebrows waxed for the first time, it'll be in the link below. Yes, so you can check that out. Go get that done if your parents allow you to, because that will help, you know, brighten up your face or help you I, look a little better. I was the one very scared to do it. I didn't want to do it. She was always like convinced me to do it. And then I ended up liking it, and I wanted to do it again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> If you have any comments, comment down below. Don't forget to like the video if you like this video. And subscribe to see more subscribe. videos with me and my mom. Mm -hmm. We hope you liked it. Subscribe. Bye.